Rolling. <laughs> Hello! I am on the floor. As you may have seen in our previous video, we have a little beetle friend. He is due for a cage cleaning. <laughs> so, we're just gonna lift his castle. Oh, there he is. Oh no! Honey. So what kind of beetle is this? This is a blue death feigning beetle. They call them that because, as you see, they play dead. This is Ronin, also called a desert ironclad beetle. And somewhere on this screen, I'll put his Latin name because I don't have it memorized. And even if I did, I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it correctly. I love beetles, especially this little guy. He is the easiest pet I've ever had. He is very small, as you can see. He doesn't have wings or any way to bite you or sting you. He doesn't even need water because he gets all his moisture from apples and bugs and other stuff that he eats. And they can just crawl around on you once they have finished playing dead. <laughs> They're called blue death fainting beetles because they look blue. But actually, if you got him wet, he would turn black. And that's because he's covered in a powder that makes him look blue. But I'm gonna put this little guy, oh dear, I know you're going the wrong way, <laughs> in our little glass here. Oh, there we go. I'll just hang out there for now. They're not the smartest animals on earth. Quick cuts to each time he falls off the cliff. What is wrong with you? <laughs> He's just kind of walking in one direction, hoping that eventually it'll work out for him. He is so dumb. Do you want to stay in the glass? So today I'm going to change out his sand. Try and do this with minimal mess. That worked. I think I'm ready to put in sand. Since these guys belong to the desert, they prefer sand. I read you're not supposed to give them calcium sand. You're supposed to do desert blend or quartz. Sand, I don't know. We got Desert Blend, which is apparently ground English walnut shells. <laughs> you don't wanna give them dirt because that can clump up in their joints and it's not good for them. All right, this smells kinda woody. We're like carrots. Definitely need more. Ronan is still trying to walk out of that glass. <laughs> All right, that looks like a good amount of sand. So we're gonna put the castle back in here. I make sure to put it in the middle because he can climb really well. He may not be able to climb these sides, but he can definitely climb not only on the outside of this, but on the smoothed inside because it's just enough texture for him to get around. So we keep it in the middle so he doesn't climb out and get under our cupboards or something. All right, so that's that. We've got the new substrate in there. It looks great, and I'm sure he'll be just fine with it. I'm going to put him in pretty soon and let him crawl around, get used to the new walnut shells. I say that they'll eat a lot of things, but Ronan's actually pretty picky. Even though he's supposed to get his liquid from apples and whatnot, he lets the apples dry out before he will even touch them. So he's only eaten apples. Our betas food, the little pellets, I think. I think he eats those. I'm not positive because I've seen him pick them up in his mandibles. And while I looked at him through the plastic, he squeezed his mandibles shut and the pellet shot right at my face. <laughs> 
So either he eats them or he has a really big beef with me. But we're gonna see what he likes about super worms, which should be exciting and kind of gross. See if that'll get him to incorporate some more liquid into his diet. I love this beetle. He may be a little organic machine who doesn't seem to have feelings, but he's just adorable to look at and I love watching him walk around. He has the most amazing movements and such intricate design and I just never stop being fascinated with him. Even people who don't like insects have come around to liking Ronan because he can't do anything to hurt you. <laughs> oh my, he's ticklish. <laughs> so if you're ever looking for an easy interactive pet, I would totally recommend these guys. And the first one that I got, it was in high school and I was so in love with that beetle. I made him a little box that I could wear and I'd be sitting in class and my teachers had no idea I brought a pet to school. <laughs> and I made him a little boat. He did try and climb out of that and I had to keep him from doing so. <laughs> and I made him little paper castles and like a giant salad and he was my number one. These guys, believe it or not, can last anywhere from 10 to 17 years, which is amazing if you think about it. So I thought maybe I'd be taking Tazpin with me to college, but unfortunately he didn't live that long. And yes, I did cry when he died. And my mom let me stay home from school that day because I was so upset, so thank you, mom. <laughs> thank you for understanding my strange affection for an insect. But yeah, this guy has been doing great. We've had him for a year and he's still trekking along. Seriously, if this beetle lasts us the whole 17 years, we'd be nearly 40 and I would be so impressed. So that's about all. I'll make this video about. Thank you so much for joining me and yeah, stay tuned for our next vlog.